say you can't go home again, but that's exactly what St. Mary's Doug Fry is attempting to do. Welcome to the warm up presented by Whitney's Painting and Sandblasting. I'm Mark Koontz. Matt Finkel joins us momentarily, but first we sit down with the former and now current Rough Riders head coach Doug Fry. And Doug, has it been a little bit of a, of a deja vu feeling coming back to St. Mary's now? I guess you never know in life and you never know in coaching what's going to happen. And uh, yes, it has. And uh, you know, I never moved from here. So we've lived here, our family, since 1998. So, uh, you know, it, it's been a, a challenge. I mean, there's been a lot of things going on so far and a lot of fundraising and a lot of little things are taking place. But, but I've enjoyed every minute of it. It's really been fun. The last four years at Wapakoneta, how difficult was it for you to, to see how this program struggled, a, a program, a team, a town that means so much to you? Was it difficult to see the struggle St. Mary's went through? Well, you know, as I've said quite often, I rooted against them one time all year, and, and our, our kids at Wapakoneta were great, and they worked hard, and I felt very good about what we accomplished over there. But, um, you know, my wife taught here, my grandson's here, my granddaughter's here, our, our entire family lives here, uh, and, you know, they all graduated from here. So, yeah, it was very difficult to see what happened to the program. Will there be a difference between a, a Doug Fry St. Mary's team of 2008 and a Doug Fry St. Mary's team of 2014? Well, I think that, uh, you know, we're not certainly to that point when I left in 08. In 08, we were ranked number one in the state for a mm -hmm. few weeks. And, uh, but, you know, we have closed the gap pretty quickly. Our kids are doing a great job, and I, I think our staff is young. It's a good staff. I, probably the biggest thing that stood out when I left and when Coach Bachman was here and when I was here before was the quality of our coaching staff. And, and I've got, been able to assemble a group of guys. They all either coached or played for me in the past, and they all teach in our building. So they're young. They're going to grow a little bit, probably make a few mistakes. But they're a group that's going to stick together for a long time. Obviously, that 21-game losing streak is hanging out there. But if you look at the 2013 season, St. Mary's wasn't necessarily an 0-10 team. They lost a lot of close games. They were certainly were an improved team last year. Well, the proof's in the pudding. You have to win and lose football games. And, uh, you know, there might have been some moments where you could feel good uh, if you weren't keeping score, I guess. But uh, since we are, you know, uh, we didn't finish games, and uh, that's something we're going to strive to do this year. Can we see more of the, the wing and fling at St. Mary's now? Well, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of experimenting with both things. We're, we, we've got our numbers up. We were in the 40s last year. We're at about 73 kids. We had 14 eighth graders, and I think we got 38 freshmen now. So we've been in the hallways, and we've got 100, 110, 112 kids that are playing football for us now. So, um, you know, what we are, well, time will tell, really. Uh, we're just basically trying to stabilize the program, play a lot of kids, uh, play a complete varsity JV freshman schedule, and get our kids believing that success is possible again. We're at the practice facility right now. Has that kind of re re rejuvenated, revitalized the program a little bit, having a, a facility like this? Yeah, I, I think this is a tremendous facility. Actually, uh, you know, from what I dealt with when I left before, and, and, and I never really worry too much about the uh, the icing, the sugar and spice that goes with it. I'm really more concerned about what's underneath. But, uh, you know, we, we our locker room, we were crying, I just – in there cramped mm -hmm. and we had to bus across town to practice and it wasn't bad we got we got by with it coach Bachman coach pretty myself we we may do with it but th honestly this is a fantastic situation and we were able to raise a lot of money and, and heat and air condition our building and put in a lot of little things that helped and so we have four or five four and a half grass practice fields a turf practice field out here it, you know it's a complete football facility out here so and all of our kids 7 through 12 are here so it actually has been a great situation uh, as far as practice goes let's talk a little about the cake who uh, who are you expecting to, to lead this team this year well Isaac Fitzgerald was our quarterback uh, a year ago he was the um, uh, WBL baseball player of the mm -hmm. year so we're going to move him to fullback and, and as you well know fullback in our offense is uh, is somewhat important <laughs> and so uh, he's a guy that uh, you know we'll get some attention back there and uh, so I would start with Isaac he's one of our captains and then defensively we're working hard to improve that defense and I think the strength of the defense are four seniors on the D line those kids are solid. They got playing time, and they're coming back. And we're going to start 22 different kids. So whether that's right or wrong, uh, uh, Coach uh, Pretty and Coach Bachman started it in '72, and we're going to get back to it. And we're going to play a lot of kids on Friday night. How important is it to have that depth? Well, I think it's important to get teaching time in. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it just like anything in life. If you're having to learn three or four things and compared to one or two, you have an opportunity to get a little bit better at those one or two things and, and play a little harder when you're on the field. So, you know, we're, we're trying to get our car kids to believe in that and become sounder fundamentally. What does the offensive line look like this year? Well, they're kids. There's a lot of newbies on the line. Mm -hmm. uh, the strength of the O-line are two returners and Sean Bowen and Quinn Zarr. 
Um, both big senior kids. Sean's a senior, about 290 tackle, and, and then Quinn's about a 250, 260 uh, tight end. And Quinn's trimmed about 25, 30 pounds off. So those kids are the strength of our football team. The rest of the guys are newbies, and we're trying to put the pieces together. You know, in the Western Buckeye League, you play uh, n the other nine schools, so you don't have a whole lot of flexibility in the schedule. Sydney's been the opener for St. Mary's for a while. Are you happy with Sydney as the opener? Are you looking to, to maybe make a change at some point? That's been a long-running tradition. Uh, when I was here before, for two years, we played Piqua. Sydney chose not to play us anymore, but you know, right away they saw that you know it was hard to get that gate and, and that, that emotion, and, and this has been a long-time series. So uh, I think we'll continue that, and I, I know Sydney wants to do the same thing. Adam Dungess, who played for me here at St. Mary's as head coach at mm -hmm. Sydney, and uh, it's a good opener for both teams. What are your expectations for this year's team? To get better, number one. Uh, obviously, my expectations and some of the guys that were with me at Wapakoneta are pretty high in that locker room. And, uh, you know, sometimes they go around the room, we talk about, well, hey, this, this won a leg championship, let's have a winning season. And they're saying, well, coach, we want to get that first win, you know, around the room. So <laughs> I, for me, I don't even, that's not even my vision. I, I, I'm just a person that uh, I'm expecting the best every day. I expect our kids to improve. I expect our kids to play with great emotion. I just met with our kids at the end of today's two a day and said, hey, if you play hard and do the little things well, good things will happen for you. And, and I believe they will. Doug Fry took the St. Mary's Rough Riders to the postseason seven times as he racked up over 80 nine wins at St. Mary's this first time around. Need to take a break here on the Whitney Painting and Sand Blasting warm-up. When we come back, Matt Finkel will sit down and talk with some of the Rough Riders here in w 4 Welcome back to the warm-up presented by Whitney Painting and Sandblasting. Back at St. Mary's, got two seniors now to chat with. It's Dylan Leiniger, middle linebacker in the middle, and Spencer Naus, defensive line on the end. Dylan, we'll start with you. What's it been like having Coach Fry at the helm, and, and what are some of the differences that you've noticed from last season? You know, it's, uh, it's a lot more hustle and a, a lot more running around, but it's actually fun going at a, a, a better pace and really getting at it. Spencer, have you seen uh, the same thing um, under Coach Fry so far? Yeah, there's a lot more enthusiasm and hustle uh, going around, and we all have a better tempo, and we just we come excited and ready to get after it. And Dylan, yeah, he's a first-year head coach, but he coached here in the past, obviously, took the four years at Wapakoneta. So you, saw, when you were in grade school and middle school, you saw Coach Fry leading the Rough Riders, so it's not like it's any big change for you, right? No, not at all. No. Spencer, what can we expect out of the defensive line this year? I know Coach mentioned that you're going to be responsible for only playing one side of the ball. Is that something that you like? Uh, yeah, I do like that. Um, it gives us a chance to get a break, get off the field, and uh, we can have more, more excitement and fly to the ball. Is the line strong? Have you guys been hitting the weight room and conditioning well? Yeah. And Dylan, what about at the linebacker position? Uh, what can we expect? Um, we're really taking our time this year, uh, learning, getting better reads on the uh, guards, and really working on getting downhill and filling gaps. Defense, you guys gave up a lot of points last year. You scored some points, but defense is definitely an area that I think you'd want to improve. How have you seen those changes come about in camp thus far? A lot more hustle, a lot more hustle, uh, every guy to the ball. Spencer, what are you looking forward to about the opener home against Sydney? A win. A win? Yeah, that should be, be, be. How important is it to get off to a good start? And for you guys especially, knowing that you might not have seen the results that you're seeking on the field last year and the year before. Uh, it's really important to get that first win. I think if we get the first win, it all just carries on from there. Dylan, where do you guys fit into the WBL this season? We know it's a competitive league. You have you know nine opponents on there starting week two. Where do you fit in? Um, it's really hard to say right now. We're still still working on getting getting better. Spencer, is there a particular opponent you're looking forward to in the conference schedule? Walpock. And why is that? Just they've always been a competition, but now we have. Well, it's our coach now, but right, exactly. That should be a good one, and you guys should be pumped up for that. Time for a break on the warm-up presented by Whitney Painting and Sandblasting. When we come back, more St. Mary's Rough Riders come by to stop and have a chat.
Third down on the warm-up brought to you by Whitney Painting and Sandblasting from St. Mary's. Two more seniors now. Joining me, Jordan Fisher, defensive tackle, Isaac Fitzgerald, fullback. And Isaac, you are right here to my right. Jordan's, or no, Jordan, you are here to my right. Isaac is on the end. Sorry about that, guys. So, Jordan, we'll start with you. You guys seem to really be focusing on the weight room and conditioning in the summer. Is that, is that true? Uh, yeah. We get in there quite a bit in the week, work hard every day, and it's looking pretty good. Improvement. Isaac, have you seen that take shape on the field and, and really see the work that you put in in the summer pay off? Yeah, a lot of our guys have came a long way. They got a lot stronger, and I think it's helping them out here on the field. Jordan, what can we expect on the defensive side of the ball? We talked about it a little with Coach and some of the other guys. Seems like you really want to fly to the ball. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of enthusiasm, playing really excited, getting real fast, 11 to the football every time. Isaac, what about that ground game? Is that going to be a focal point of the offense for St. Mary's this year? Yeah, we'll be hitting the wing tee really hard. Does this team have a mantra that they're trying to instill and maybe the seniors are passing on to the younger guys, or is it, is it about work ethic? What's, what's the main focus here leading up to week one? It can always get better. can always get better. Yeah. And in what ways have you seen Coach Fry try to instill that mantra into the team? I would have to say the tempo we have at practice. So it's always upbeat and everybody's flying around. Got a couple of scrimmages coming up. First one will be at Finley on August 14th. What are you hoping to get out of that? Um, two good schools, two good scrimmages, um, two top teams in Ohio. Going to be a tough one. We'll see how we're really going to be. You're going to find out a little bit about your team before week one in those scrimmages. Is that the goal? Yeah, we want to see how we go up against somebody else other than each other. What's your favorite part about playing in the Western Buckeye League? Um, you never know what you're going to get. Every team can come out, play hard, and... It's always going to yeah. be a competitive game. You know yeah. that. Is that. You feel the same way, Isaac? Yeah, there's always a lot of competition in WBL. Um, they say the max the football conference, but I disagree. I think the WBL, WBL is right up there with them. Jordan... Is there a particular game you're looking at? I know the other guys mentioned Wapak for um, obvious reasons. Wapak and Salina for sure. Wapak and Salina. You can see that Wapakoneta game in week eight on WOSN. How about you, Isaac? Any particular game? Maybe uh, I know the opener against Sydney's looming. That's got to be the, what you're focused on right now, right? Yeah, I'd say Sydney because we came up short against them a couple times, and I think we own one. Well, St. Mary's getting ready for week one here under Coach Fry. That does it for this edition of the warm-up presented by Whitney Painting and Sandblasting. Thanks to all of our guests. For Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. We'll see you next time on WOSN.